Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Desiree. Back in here with another video for y'all. Hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. <laughs> okay, y'all. So as you guys could see, I went to my piercer and I got the Ashley piercing. Okay, so um my cousin actually has this piercing and I always was like would I ever do it? This is the piercing that um was and always in the back of my mind. Like, would I ever do it? Would I ever go through the pain? Would I ever go through it? I always wondered how it would look on me. Um, I always um was like, I'm gonna see what it do. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna explain to you guys um what happened to if you guys could see what happened to my cunch piercing um let's see about a couple weeks ago um i was laying down and i moved a pillow that i have and i'm going to show you guys this pillow so i have this furry pillow and i was laying down and i was um, on my way to go to sleep and I was trying to get comfortable. Um, it was, I'm pretty sure it was a Sunday night and I was like, uh, I need to go to sleep. Okay. I need to go to sleep because some of y'all know I started taking care of a little girl during the week and, um, she gets to my place. It's about, I want to say, maybe before five o'clock in the morning. So it was between four to 5 a.m. So I was like, okay, so um, it was getting later and I was like, let me just, I said, let me move this pillow and I need to go, I need to, go to sleep. So I moved the pillow this direction with the furry side upward. And I was like, um, it caught the back of my cunch piercing and, it moved it this direction like it moved it backward backwards but it did not come out of my ear and i was i was in pain okay because some of y'all know that when you get that cunch piercing if you have it or you know someone who has it or you've heard about it that's cartilage in that in the inside of your ear so i was in pain um but i managed to um tough it out and go to sleep and I slept on my right side so the next day um when I actually looked at it it was pushed back and it made the hole in my ear look a whole lot bigger so I was like you know what I'm just gonna take it out and then I was like I get paid the next day and I was like I'm gonna go find something to put in it you know like a new um Something pretty, you know, make it, make it look a little bit more nicer, okay? That was my plan. <clears throat> so, in that within that day, it closed up. And I was like, now, the crazy thing about this, my conspiracy scenes, was um, it's... It'll be a year, the end of this month, that I have my conspiracy scenes done on Halloween, and I'm like, why did this happen to me? Why did it close? Maybe because it was damaged. Maybe because it was pulled. Maybe because it's still not healed. Maybe because, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It could have been a lot of reasons. Okay, so I was like, you know what? Let me go talk to the piercer and see what they say. And um, yeah, that's what I did. So this past Friday was the first of October and I was like okay I knew in my mind that I was going to get the acid piercing done but then I talked to the piercer and he was like you need to put tea tree oil on that so you can get the bump to go down now the bump was very 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 small it didn't extend out of my ear front or back it only extended out very a very little little bit and I was like super happy about that because um, I know what keloids look like. I know what 
actual piercing bumps look like because trust me I do a lot of research and I look at a lot of pictures between Pinterest YouTube and just online searching so <clears throat> I was like okay I um, don't want to get a keloid front or back so I came home that Friday and I started putting tea tree oil on it so okay let me talk about this actually piercing <laughs> It's something so different for me. And I'm already I already got big lips already. So um people are going to flip when they actually see this. So my kids know about it. Um a couple friends of mine know about it. Um the girl I babysit for, she's like, oh Miss Desiree, that is so cute. I like it. I like it. Y'all, I love it. I already love it. And I put up a video on TikTok already. Um, so the day I got it done, my lip didn't actually start swelling up until, I want to say later that night into the next morning. And it got bigger. I was like, oh. I don't want to do a video until the swelling starts going down. So I've been putting ice on it. Um, I've been using Listerine for mouth for the mouthwash and the mouth rinses. And then today, um, I, uh, rinsed my mouth out with, uh, the sea salt and then I cleaned the piercing around with the sea salt and a Q-tip. So, um, the pain... It was very uncomfortable. That's what I will say. I teared up a little bit, but I didn't cry. <laughs> but it it was up there in, in, in discomfort. I will tell you that. So I will say out of a 10, um, it's already it's already enough when the piercer has to use the tongs. Cause I went through that with my nipples as well. That's already enough. So when they put the tongs on there, that's kind of painful too. So it's like, um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I, this, this piercing is, is such a doozy. I already get a lot of attention because of my lips already because they're big, but now I'm going to get a lot more attention. But see, the thing about it is people are not going to be able to see it unless I take my mask off because when I go out, I have a mask on. And you're not going to know what's there until I take my mask off. <laughs> ah, so anyways, um, the piercer, he used a, a longer bar bell for me because he's like, you're going to need room because your lips are going to get, your lip is going to get bigger. And I was like... And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, how big is that actual barbell going to be? Because if my lip is, you know, big now, it's going to get bigger. So how big, how much bigger or longer is that barbell? Okay. So, um, right now, my lips, the swelling has actually gone down. I'm getting a little closer so you guys can actually see. My lip may have a little swelling. Um, it's still a little bruised, of course. So when the piercer put the needle in, he went, uh, upward. And I noticed that, um, some piercers go downward. And I guess that's just, you know, um, preference. I don't know, but it doesn't really, it didn't really matter to me. None just hurry up and get it in and get it over with. <laughs> okay. So. With that being said, um, since I could not get my country pierced, I got this piercing up here. Now, that was more painful than the cunch. And I'm actually not sure what this is called, but I think it's a helix piercing. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or whatever, but I'm not sure what this is called. But y'all know if you actually have had this done. Um, 
I did hear the crunch and I was like, oh my. <sighs> so this hurts worse than the crunch piercing for me. Um, I'm used to sleeping on my right side and, or my left side. I'm used to sleeping on my left side. So now I'm on my back or my right side. So if I am on this side, I will put my hand up here to cuff my ear. So that way there's no pressure on it, but I don't sleep on my left side. So yeah, I bought, um, I bought a bottle of jojoba, um, with the tea tree oil in it because the tea tree oil is so strong. It has to have some kind of, it has to be concentrated or mixed with something. So I buy that. I bought another bottle of that and, um, so I'm going to, hopefully I can get this to go down soon. I'm going to get it repaired because I missed my punch. This one is good on the right side. Um, so I'm going to be extra careful as far as the pillows are concerned. Um, I'm going to actually buy two more pillows to replace those pillows because I like um, the size of those. And those will be on my bed somewhere or sitting on the floor somewhere when I find a place for them. But I'm going to have to, like, I don't want any furry pillows on my bed unless I put them up here for decoration. So, I don't want that to happen again, um, especially with, you know, stuff that's on my ears and everything. Um, my mom does not know about this piercing. My sister doesn't know about this piercing. And when they find out, they're going to have a conniption because... My mom already had a conniption about my tongue being pierced. And, um, I, 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 you know, it's my body, y'all. And, um, <sighs> the funniest thing about having piercings is that, um, I have, including the country that's missing, it's a total of 18 now. Um, My cousin, like I said, my cousin got this done years ago. So, okay, y'all, I will talk to y'all later.